Hi neighbor, my name is Francisco Lozano. Every year, thousands of visitors come to the Blue Ridge Mountains to witness one of the greatest and hairiest festivals around. That's right, I'm talking about the Woolly Worm Festival. Here to tell me more about the wonders of the Woolly Worm is none other than Mr. Woolly Worm. How are you doing, Mr. Woolly? I'm doing fine. Now, you, you've changed a little since the last time I saw you. Do Woolly Worms molt? Woolly Worms do molt, and they become uh, butterflies. But <laughs> last year, Mr. Woolly Worm was here, and uh, he did 39 years. He has retired, so I am not Mr. Woolly Worm. I'm the Wooly Worm Dude. The Dude, huh? The Wooly right. Worm Dude, yeah. Huh? Okay, so uh, the Wooly Worm Dude, can you tell me about your involvement with the festival? Sure. Uh, first of all, about the festival. Uh, the festival's been running for 39 years. This is the 40th year, October 21st, Saturday. And um, it, it, it's running off a long-standing heritage of the mountain folks. They were farmers, and they didn't go to the grocery stores. They grew their own stuff. Mm -hmm. And they needed all kind of help from nature to predict the winters. And so the woolly worm was used by the old time farmers. A woolly worm has 13 segments in its body. Some are brown, some are black. There's 13 weeks in a winter. And they would read the segments of the worm to predict the coldness and the warmth of the winter coming. And so it was 39 years ago, they decided they were going to have a festival. And there's a, a stage set up in the corner of the field with 25 strings running up and 25 people come up and they have their names of their worms up and they race the worms and the worm that gets to the top in that heat wins the race and there's a first place and a second place and it's really quite a hoot it's a family affair all the way mm -hmm. so you said uh you're talking about the woolly worm colors like they, they look at them so how how can you tell if it's darker if it's lighter what does that all mean yes the uh typically a woolly worm uh, which is a caterpillar um, a caterpillar. A caterpillar, not a worm. <laughs> okay. So they typically start off with black segments and then brown and then black. And black means colder than normal. Mm -hmm. Brown means normal or warmer than. And so on the tail it gets black again. And sometimes those worms have uh, varying degrees of blackness and brownness. And that's mm -hmm. why the winner predicts the weather. Gotcha. So how many heats are there to, to you know, get the, the ultimate winner? We have 25 racers, and the winner of that race gets put on hold. We run eight of those, and so those eight winners come back and do a quarterfinal. The winner of that stands back for the rest of the day, and we run eight quarterfinals until we get the finalist in, and that's probably 4.30, 5 o'clock in the afternoon. And the winner of that race wins $1,000, and Tommy Burleson, a world-famous basketball player, reads the colors of the worm and predicts the winter from there. Wow, so uh, how was the <laughs> prediction from last year's winter? Oh, it was great. It is 87.171593% accurate, or at least as accurate as the groundhog. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, the groundhog's an okay indicator. That's right. Yep. So what's all at the festival besides the exhilarating racing of worms? Well, there is uh, approximately 300 vendors. We have Merriweather with us, saying hi to the crowd. Uh, we have food vendors. Uh, it, it's quite stunning. It's in the um, uh, old Banner Elk Elementary School grounds. The outside perimeter near the school is all food vendors and uh, juried, skilled craftspeople have their vendors in the center. Uh, there's famous people come and go. Uh, ESPN will be broadcasting uh, frequently live, uh, that kind of thing. Uh, it's a, a, a family affair. When uh, I had been a judge uh, blowing the whistle on the winning race for probably 10 years now. And family members are down taking pictures and we encourage them to come up on the stage and to a person, grandparents say to us as they're leaving, this is such a fabulous festival. It is so good for the families. God bless you, keep up the good work. Uh, we have fire trucks there, the, and people can go up and, and, and ride the fire truck basket. It's uh, extraordinary. Well, that sounds like so much fun. What would you say is your favorite part about the festival? I'd say my favorite part is probably my free ride up the fire truck uh, to where uh, I'm filming it, and whoever's calling the race on stage has the entire crowd look back to the, to the fire truck, and we film that where they're all waving and screaming and yelling. My second favorite is the crowds. They are fabulous. They're in a good mood. Um, they, they shout with the races. Um, it, it's just high energy all the way. Mm -hmm. The food is good too. 
Now, does it happen on the same weekend as the Valley Cruz Fair? Yes, it does. Uh, Valley Cruises has their Apple Festival down in Valley Cruises. There's probably, I'd say, 10 miles as the crow flies separating them, probably 15 miles as the road winds. But um, the state police have told us that we'll get uh, 14,000 people cycle through that little town of Banner Elk. And the town of Banner Elk probably couldn't stand that kind of a crowd. So the Valacruces Festival held us on the same day. They can't handle that crowd alone, but as the folks cycle through, the state police find that very satisfactory. Wow. So 14,000 people. Now, where do the proceeds go? Uh, good question. The Wooly Worm is Festival is sponsored by both the Avery County Chamber of Commerce and Kiwanis of Banner Elk. The Kiwanis mission is to improve the lives of Avery County children. So most of that money goes to improve the lives of the children of Avery County. Fabulous. Incredible. That is such such a charitable event featuring such cute little worms. Thank you, yes. Thank you guys for coming on the show today. You're welcome. And if you guys want to check out more about the festival, the Woolly Worm Festival will be on October 21st through the 22nd in Banner Elk. You can find out more at woollyworm.com. If you guys want to see more High Neighbor features and content, you can check out App TV on YouTube and Facebook. Bye, neighbor.